because the national anthem is written and sung in Munster Irish. It was it was uh, written in English first. And then translated into Munster Irish. Translated into Munster Irish because at okay. the time there there wasn't really standard Irish. And the translator Kearney, um, yeah. he obviously uh, was an adherent to, to Munster, Munster Irish. Irish. And yeah. so how would you know what's something that stands out as being from Munster Irish? The first line, the first word. Yeah. Uh, you say um, Sine Fianna Fáil, mm-hmm. uh, even though people pronounce it in different ways. You say shin instead of mwid as a pronoun. Or you so say mwid instead of shin. We say mwid instead of shin. And people all over the world know about shin from Sinn Féin. Oh, good yeah. point. Yes. So Sinn Féin, which means mwid Féin, which so means ourselves. Can, as well as that, you have uh, fe. Fe um, is used in monster instead of fui. Mm-hmm. And there are loads of examples of fe in Oran uh, You okay. have um, fe, fe yata, fe yaul, yeah. fe erin. And then that last line. And then just after you have Sholiv Kanig, Kanig Aran Avian. In standard Irish, you wouldn't say Kanig, you'd say Kanigi. And in Munster oh, yeah, Irish, there's a, di- there's a different way to make the imperative form in Munster. Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually more simple because in Munster Irish, you just add eeg to pretty much any, 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 any verb. Uh, and obviously, you have different rules for the standard. It's either iggy or eegi.